What's going on guys? Today we are back and today we're working on my 89 Toyota pickup. Brought to you in part by Overland Outfitters. In just over a week we are embarking on our first major trip in this pickup since the fire restoration and the 1UZ swap. And after last weekend's shakedown run, I've come up with quite the list of stuff I need to address. It, uh, it turns out this list is a lot bigger than I was expecting it to be, so uh, maybe I have to get to work.
So I got the front end pretty much entirely disassembled here. And uh, yeah, it's hot. Did I mention we're in the middle of a heat wave? It's currently plus 40 degrees Celsius. And uh, I mean, there's no way to see or nothing in this shop. <laughs> So in the last video, when I blew my berf, it uh, it destroyed the ceiling surface right there. Might be hard to tell on video, but it is no longer flat. So my plan is to take my Dremel and try to smooth out this flan so that I can actually put a seal in there properly. To be honest, it doesn't feel like I got that much done yesterday. I got the entire front end stripped down to just the bare axle housing. And that's about it. I got way too hot. Um, so the plan today is to hopefully have all of this reassembled. Problem is, it's supposed to get even hotter today. So, uh, I mean, we'll see how far we get. These e-locker actuators corrode really bad, so I cleaned it up while it was out and gave it a fresh coat of paint. Unfortunately, red is the only color I had in stock, so yeah, she's red now. So now that the front end is resealed, it's time to tackle the next issue. On my way back from wheeling last weekend, as soon as I got into town, I noticed my uh, my turn signals weren't working anymore, and I did some investigation, 
and it turns out my exhaust actually melted a bit of my rear harness connecting to that side taillight. So the plan is to pull that out, peel it apart, and just kind of repair the harness and see how I can route either the exhaust better or the harness better so that it doesn't happen again. Alright, we are looking at day four, I think, on the uh, trip prep of my 89 Toyota pickup. So yesterday, I just wanted to get work done and I took a break from recording. But I did get a few things done in my list. I got 12 volt on the inside of my cab for, you know, charging batteries and whatnot. Um, my tranny cooler is installed. I flipped my electric fans and they seem to push more air through the radiator now, so hopefully that solves a bit of my cooling issue. And I cleaned out my intake because it was so dusty after my last trip. Today, however, I am pulling apart the rear end, taking the third member out, and resealing the third member and essentially putting it all back together. I'm not replacing any parts. I don't think it needs anything new. It just drifts out of the seal around the third member. So take it out, reseal it, put it back together, and no longer will I be losing gear oil out of there, in theory. So after resealing the rear end of my truck, I finished the day yesterday by replacing all of the front leaf spring bushings. And as you can see, these were very, very pounded out. So I'm glad I did that. And with those done, I, uh, I got quite the bit on my list done. So that leaves very little for me to finish doing this weekend before we leave for our trip next Tuesday. 
So, uh, yeah, that about wraps up this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Anyways, if you could do me a favor and hit that like button, that would be awesome. Subscribe if you're new. I upload weekly Toyota building, wheeling, off-roading content, and, uh, hey, I'll see you next week. Peace. I'ma make a couple stacks, do exactly what I want to. Mix a couple tracks, get a lady that I'm drawn to. Turn up to the max, get me faded till I'm gone, dude. I do what I want, couldn't stop me if you wanted to. I just work hard, yeah, harder than the rest. Some people say I'm lucky, others say I'm